John Stamos holds no grudge against Tony Danza for sleeping with his girlfriend, in fact, he credits him for launching his career. In his upcoming memoir If You Would Have Told Me, John Stamos writes that he grew suspicious of Copley cheating on him, even visiting her house one night to check on it, spotting an unfamiliar 1957 Porsche in the driveway. The blinds are closed, but the door is slightly open I take a peek inside and see four feet protruding from the shabby chic floral print duvet that once kept me warm. My tiny dancer is in bed with Mr. Porsche Speedster. They are sleeping. I can't tell who he is, but I recognize Terry barely covered by the sheet. Do I pull him out of the bed by his hair, kick him in the nuts, and beat him? She's my girlfriend. Who is this one? He looks familiar. He rolls over, exposing his ripped abs and muscular body. And that man, it soon dawned on Stamos, was Tony Danza, pieced together when he heard Elton John singing Tiny Dancer on his way home. Yes hold me closer, Tony Danza. But John Stamos doesn't hold a grudge against Tony Danza. In fact, he gives him and who's the boss. Credit for Full House's own success, saying, if you would have told me the day I walked into that room and caught my true love in bed with another guy that is show who's the boss, would launch Full House into a bona fide hit, making me a household name. Well, what can I say? Thanks Tony Danza. The direct connection between who's the boss's success and that of Full House isn't exactly clear here, but we have a feeling Stamos would have been just fine in his career without Danza shacking up with his model girlfriend. John Stamos decided to write his memoir after the death of friend co-star Bob Saget, fearful he might run out of time. Knowing Saget liked to work blue, he probably would have gotten a kick out of the story. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified when next a video is uploaded.